to another segment of this tutorial we are going to learn about a command line interface yeah so when you watch movie and you see programmers or hackers hacking or something they use some black black screen weird weird thing that you've been seeing and they were just typing typing things and all of a sudden they hack into something yeah so we're also going to use some uh, what they've been using in uh, doing their hacking and stuff but we're not coming to learn hacking we are coming to learn how to issue basic commands all right so uh, the command line interface kind we have uh, when you're using windows we call it command prompt and uh, linus we call it console on the or the terminal so depending on the platform that you are uh, you have the name the appropriate name to use for whatever you're using uh, uh, for the your command line all right to so run the command line or the command line application on your windows uh, uh windows soft or windows operating system all you have to do is to go to start and then type cmd then you see command prompt available for you or you can just press start plus r then type cmd in the uh, dialog that will show or the pop-up then you hit enter then you see the black screen uh, showing for you then all you have to do is so all you have to do is to put it at the other side i don't i don't want you to cover the entire screen since we have to be looking at the tutorial and be following it over here all right so yeah so these are the procedures involved in getting your um, command prompt started for the various operating systems all right so um the first command that we are going to type is to write who am i all right so i will type who am i over here then i'll hit enter all right so uh who am i simply is, uh, brings out the username of this particular pc and you can see the username is no hello and uh the command that we issue is what who am i all right so the next thing to do is to type another the same cd cd simply means ch change directory and yep you can see the same thing appears over here all right so the next command that we are supposed to type is uh dir what dir simply does is to list the entire directory in that particular path so type dir and yep you can see it brought out the list of or uh, yeah the, the list of directory in that particular folder so to give you the graphical view of this uh, i will go to the explorer simply wait for that the explorer okay then i also put it at the left side then select this pc oh sorry this then choose no allow yep so what you're seeing at the black screen over here which is the command prompt is the same thing over here so we can match dot android which is over here dot android studio 2.2 dot android studio 2. the bit lot and you can see everything over here the virtual boss all of them are available here so what we are simply doing is we are no more using the graphical aspect now we are using the console or the command aspect of it i'll quickly close this so that we can um, be able to follow the tutorial all right so i'll select the console over here then come down small 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 and uh, i can okay all right so uh, that is it so the next thing is to change the uh, di directory to desktop so we type so to move from a folder or a, a directory to directory we use the cd which is change directory so for now we are going to change to this particular directory called uh, desktop so we type cd desktop then we hit enter all right so when you type cd desktop the next thing we are supposed to do is to make a directory we can we can still type the cd here so that we we, we we are in that particular desktop all right so the next thing is to make directory uh, making directory what making directory simply means is that you are creating a folder initially when you want to create a folder you have to uh, come here right click and 
it comes to new then create folder then give it a name let's say Django or better still you can use control shift and n to create a folder so girls all right so that is the way the various way in creating a folder that we know okay but in dealing with command prompt we we use the make directory command to create a directory all right so uh with this uh this command line we are for the windows you are supposed to type mk mkdir it means make directory then write practice all right so when you look at the desktop we don't have any folder created called practice or anything so when i quickly hit enter it creates a folder on the desktop for us is that not wonderful all right so yeah um so the next thing to do is to uh all right so an exercise wow all right so it's so much challenge for you is your newly created practice that create a directory called test use the cd and make directory okay so or uh, what they simply uh, uh, want us to do is to um open that particular directory that we've created called practice and create a a, 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 a subfolder in that particular folder of the practice okay so we first write cd which is in directory to practice practice then the next thing <coughs> is to make dir then text in it all right so we've created another folder in that particular folder so we let's quickly check that wow so we have the test folder located in the practice folder great all right so um now we can view we can view what is inside the folder of the practice by typing dir and yeah you can see we have the test inside it and uh, it has been created exactly 635 on the 13th of september 2017. okay congrats all right so um the the next thing is to switch back to another directory so change directory with this dot dot will move from one directory to another so it's like going back the reverse like the reverse way initially when you are change directory and you specify the path of the this thing that means you are like moving to opening or something of that sort but now we want to come back to the desktop itself so we we type cd with two dots space two dots and then yeah that is it so when you press dir you can see all the directory on the desktop all right so let's look at the tutorial now okay so the next thing is to use the command to delete the directory that we've already created on the desktop so for windows to issue that command you write rm which means remove directory then the forward slash s and then you type the name of the directory which is practice and hit enter so it will ask you are you sure you want to delete this particular folder then you, pr you input y which means yes then you hit enter we successfully deleted a particular folder from our desktop it's no longer available on the desktop initially it was there all right so that is the command to delete uh, a directory from the desktop not only directory but you can use it to delete other files as well okay so let's quickly type dir and we don't have that initially we have practice over here but we, and looking at this it's no longer there all right so after you are done with the command all you have to do and if you want to exist uh, this particular uh, console or terminal or command prompt all you have to do is to type exit then hit enter nice one 
All right, so you can quickly check uh, this particular uh, uh, other ways of or commands that you can use in the command prompt as well. And um, I hope you've enjoyed this particular lesson or this particular tutorial. Thanks for watching and catch me on my next tutorial. Bye-bye.